Right, so I'm potting on into nice big pots. Uh, my local oaks. Some are stronger than others. But they're still doing all right. I'm gonna take the, uh, they've been in this compost mix for over a year. I haven't been doing anything, just water them. And so I'm putting them on into nice big pots. And I'm hoping to get these down in the autumn. The biggest ones will definitely go down. That big one there and here will definitely go down. We'll see how these two get on. And they're just going into topsoil. Topsoil that I had outside, because that's basically what they're just going to go into. They're going into the soil, down in the wood. And I'm hoping, I'm, I've cleared out the, uh, the ditch on the left hand side. And so basically I can walk around the, 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 the perimeter of the wood. And I'm going to put some oaks down along the left hand side. Right, so here's the, where we got one, two, three, four, half a dozen. These are local oaks. See, as the crow flies, only a kilometer away. It's a huge mature tree. Was it two seasons ago? Anyway, these are my oaks. And they'll be going down into the wood on the left. Another thing if you're potting on, uh, never fill your pots up to the very top. Always leave that uh, inch or two at the top of the pot. So when you're watering them, you can absolutely soak them. You can fill the water right up to the top till it's coming out over the edge. So always leave an inch or two at the top of your pot for the water. And give them a good soak now. Right, so this is Tetrapanix Rex. This is the first one I got and it was about five foot tall and didn't like it up the patio area and moved it in the middle of summer, awesome time. And it went back a bit, probably didn't recover properly. You can see the trunk that it did have. Um, but it's developed a nice trunk now. Nice, turned into a nice big plant. But this plant, uh, when I was planting it up, I kind of pulled apart, unknowingly, pulled apart the uh, root ball because it was root bound in the, from the pot that was in. And I was able to get a couple of pups off it, but only one of them survived, which is in the, one, of them, the, one of them that's in the chicken pen. So apparently if you disturb the root system of these plants of this particular type of plant um, it throws up pups so I'm actually going to put in a fork and root around in the soil a little bit and see if I can encourage it to throw up pups See what happens with this plant. 